So, we here at Suarez Digital wanted to apologize for not having enough money to buy the new Sonic merch just so we could review it for you. So, uh, sorry for being poor. So instead, enjoy this video of us reviewing products from last year. So, to make the best out of a bad situation, today we are going to be comparing these two keyboards. The first one is advertised as a gaming set combo from Sekar. Coming in at $36, it comes with all your essentials, a wired mouse, a wired keyboard, and wired headphones, all neatly themed to Sonic the Hedgehog. And of course, the branding is all over the place to make sure that we don't forget what this product is for. And I know what y'all might be saying, Suarez Digital, this is clearly a product made for kids. If that's the case, then why does the box show a grown man fist pumping the air? He is clearly a gamer celebrating his win. Checkmate, atheists. The second keyboards we have here are from the Sega and High Ground collaboration. Coming in at only $145, it comes with one TTC silver keyboard, one Type-C cable, one keycap puller, and one switch puller. Today, we have two versions, one that is Green Hill and Sonic the Hedgehog themed, and the other that is themed like the Dreamcast. So now that you've met both competitors, we will now be comparing them against each other. We will be comparing the keyboard, the presentation, the functionality, and extra accessories. Let's begin. First up, we have the keyboard from Sekar. The keyboard is quite silent. This is me typing, by the way. They advertise it as having a backlight, but for the life of me, I can't figure it out. Turns out, there's a very good reason why items come with instructions. And after carefully reading the instructions, simply pushing the scroll lock turns it on and off. However, the backlight is... alright, I guess. The individual letters on the keys aren't transparent, and in pitch darkness, you can't read anything on the keyboard. And to my knowledge, this is the light's only setting, so there's not much option in light customization. The back does come with these little plastic hinges, which I guess are pretty cool. One thing that does bother me are these little circle O stickers. They constantly stuck to my thumbs, and I know everyone wants to know if the keycaps are interchangeable. Well, no, they are not. So if you were planning to swap them out and customize them, there is none of that happening here. Well, in theory, they are detachable, but I don't think they make keys for uh, this. Well, what about the high ground keyboards? Since these are the exact same keyboards, the review will cover both. First off, the looks. The Dreamcast keyboard is straight up a homage to the Dreamcast controller, with the directional pads here being the same color as the control button. The design on the keycaps is a Dreamcast, and all throughout the keyboard, they include a lot of cool references to the Dreamcast. The sides here are a nice gray color that remind me of a Dreamcast, and it looks so beautiful sitting next to one as well. As for the Sonic keyboard, it is straight up gorgeous. Just take a look at that pixel art. It feels like you're looking straight into a video game. The pixel art is just so amazing and unmatched by anything. Next up, the sound. This is me typing. It's actually pretty silent, and it feels really smooth. The backlight can be changed by pressing F1 and Tab. Just look at these colors. And if you download their free software, you can further customize them even more. But straight out of the box, it is ready and easy to use. What I am bummed about is that the F keys aren't at the top, but they do have a remedy for this, and you could access them via the Function tab. Do I like this? Well, not really. I'd rather prefer my F keys. The numbers and letters are also on the bottom of the keys for both keyboards. However, they're not transparent for light to go through. And for the Sonic one, it's a lot harder to distinguish the keys here. Not very beginner friendly, and it just kind of blends into the art. Good luck trying to find the keys you're looking for, even with a backlight. And sadly, to my knowledge, these keyboards aren't Bluetooth, so for the price, it's kind of a bummer. However, if you do want Bluetooth, then just pop off your keycap and place them into another keyboard. Bam! Multiple functionalities. Overall, you get what you pay for, and for $145, they better absolutely destroy the Sekar versions. The winner is the High Ground Keyboards. The Sekar Gaming Combo Box is beautifully decorated. You have great use of the Sonic brand spread throughout. Obviously, having Sonic here is a must. I love how they use the rings as little windows to advertise the products. It's absolutely amazing and smart. All of this is very in your face and has that Sega and Sonic edgy feel to it. It also has this nice little handle that you can use to carry around for your absolute gaming needs on the go. Plus, you gotta love this fist pumping man. An absolute win. The inside does leave much to be desired for as it's simply just brown cardboard. So, how does High Ground compare? Well, High Ground presentation is pretty cool, but after the honeymoon phase, it's actually pretty lame when you think about it. Yeah, I will say it, I'm not a sucker for nostalgia bait. First up, the Dreamcast keyboard. It perfectly recreated the original packaging of the Dreamcast, which is cool, but why does it have a Dreamcast in the front? Am I buying a Dreamcast or a keyboard? And the back as well, um, still advertises a Dreamcast product. Yeah, I get it. They're trying to tell us that this keyboard is Dreamcast style, but again, show us, don't tell us. It would have been cool if they took a picture of the keyboard and recreated this with the image and lighting that the original images had, but they said nah. And maybe it's because the official Sega keyboard already did this, but if that's the case, how about just make a reference to that instead? 
red. The inside is pure black with the Dreamcast logo sitting right in the middle with the words better look up here printed underneath it, which is nice. Sometimes less is more, you know? As for the Sonic one, this one's just basically the same pixel art as from the keyboard. Yeah, I get it. Consumers are idiots. Just slap the same picture over and over again. They'll just eat it up. But since we're asking me, I think it's kind of minimal effort. And again, in this case, having more is fine if we actually get more of what we're getting of. However, the inside is a saving grace. On the back cover, you have the sky. And in the sky, you have this really cool swing that if you look closely, is actually a keyboard. And again, it comes with a message, look better up here. And while I know this is the company's slogan, it makes me feel mad. Because why couldn't this be outside of the box instead? I feel like it's taunting me, telling me, hey, this art up here looks better than the repeating art you're getting down there. Suck it. Sekar's at least embraces a gamer design, and in this situation, it works slightly better than High Grounds. Again, just slightly. So for that, the winner for this round is Sekar. Sonic High Ground keyboards are 65% keyboards, which means that they are very small and condensed. Compared to my main keyboard, it really forces you to be a minimalist with your keyboard space. The lower right keys are all small to forcefully make room for the directional keys right here. But overall, they work and function well. And as someone who uses multimedia functions, I do need my extra F function buttons, and I am not a fan of having to type extra decryption keys to find them. On the other hand, the Sekar keyboard is clunky, but it does have everything you need and more. However, the response rate isn't as solid as a high ground keyboard, and sometimes you feel like you have to firmly press on the buttons or else they get stuck. And sometimes if you don't press hard enough, the keys aren't registered. Overall, I'd rather lose the function of my F keys for a more responsive keyboard experience. The winner is the high ground keyboards. For the extras, high ground items come with high ground stickers. That's it. Not even Sonic theme, just high ground. Which maybe would be cool if you're a fan of high ground, but as a basic consumer of Sonic media, I have no idea who this company is, and after this collab, I will never be buying from them again because I really don't care about them. I'm just here for Sonic. Give me more Sonic. On the other hand, Sekar's keyboard comes with a headphones and a mouse. The headphones and mouse are both gorgeous in color. They also come with this 2-in-1 transfer cable so you can connect them both to a mic and headphone jacks on your PC. They perfectly match any other Sonic themed brand items that you may have lying around. As for feel, they feel like absolute garbage. The headphones straight up feel like clunky pieces of plastic similar to toys. The sound isn't too much better from them either. And this awkwardly sits on my head, and I feel like most of the pressure is on the top side of the headset. As for the mic, I couldn't get it to work, and the instructions weren't much help either. At this point, it was just too much work to figure out, so 0 out of 10 for microphone purposes. The mouse is nice, but like the headphones, it does feel like a toy. It does have preset lights that it alternates in between, so that's pretty cool. The scroll wheel works well, and functions as an extra button. It also has a DPI button in the middle so you can change your mouse's speed. However, it does lack the inside buttons for customization, so while it advertises itself as a gaming mouse, that is completely fraudulent. But overall, these are better than the stickers. So does that mean that Sekar has won? No, because we almost forgot one more thing. High Ground has keycaps. Yes, the keycaps. As stated before, these are multifunctional, so you can spread them across your other keyboards and mix and match them. They will go a long way and they will allow you to decorate your space as you see fit. So for that, easily the winner is High Ground. Yeah, I wasn't about to end this video on a tie. So overall, the winner is the high ground keyboards, as they should because they were expensive. Should you be getting the high ground themed keyboards? Well, no. See, this video is a year old, so sadly, they're all, uh, kind of sold out. You can try your luck on eBay or Mercari, but chances are they will be overpriced. And truth be told, I personally would not pay more than 100 for these, even though I actually did pay more than 100 I hope we all learned a valuable lesson today. Make sure to save your money and buy things you will eventually want that will, you know, randomly drop when you least expect them to. Like the Sonic Crocs. I should really be placing my order in, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Also, if we get to 1 million subscribers before July ends, I will be giving away all my keyboards you saw here. It um, probably won't happen, so uh, there's that as well. Bye!